Hey everyone, welcome back to, to my videos. Uh, this is the screen of before. Uh, I want to show you something, uh, something else, some other commands. Uh, as you see, the, now the screen is all, uh, is all full of stuff. What about clearing the screen? CLFs, and that's it, you clear the screen. CLS stands for clear screen. Uh, just uh, just to let you know um, other things uh, let's go back to our dir as you remember dir shows you the directories etc etc let's go to onedrive directory onedrive uh, di dir of onedrive okay what about uh, if i want to um, sh show my to, on the screen only my um, only some some sort of files like some extensions like for example as you see here there are a lot of do doc uh, document file doc uh, file so i write type dir um, uh, space and um, uh, asterisk uh, dot doc um, just to to be clear uh, this uh, asterisk is uh, called uh, is a wildcard character uh, wildcard mean, means that uh, is uh, universal. Anyway, this is the command, and then now, now you see uh, it will uh, is showing me all the files that has doc extension. Uh, this is doc doc x. Doc, this is doc. I am, I'm not going to go deeper into these differences, at least now. Um, what about if um, another simple command the, to access the history of my commands, which can be very useful. If you go up with the, uh, with the arrow, you go into uh, in, in the commands history that you have typed. If you go down, you, you return in the previous commands. Okay, it can be very useful if, for example, I wanna, you go back to a directory, Okay, I don't want to type it again. That's it. Very simple. Uh, now I, I return OneDrive. Okay. Um, okay. Now I want to show you na another thing. Um, I want to show you that um, if uh, uh, I uh, I type this this document Northwind dot doc. Uh, uh, I type it without uh, any command in front of it and is going to uh, ah, sorry about that um, I'm going to figure it out sorry I, I was uh, trying to open a file that I can't open so I have um, I tried to find another file just to show you uh, document and now I go dir as you see here are all the the files I want to open just a file just to show you so I click the uh, wildcard jpg and there is only one file here so without pressing any command I copy and paste this file and as you see is loading with the default uh, uh, program that I have uh, is loading the um, uh, the image that, that, that I show that I, I pasted so this is how to open an um, uh, executable file uh, from the command line uh, one last thing uh, CLS uh, one last thing I want to show you um, if uh, you want uh, from the command line to get uh, uh, to the help uh, menu of a command uh, which can be very useful uh, sometimes if you are coding or uh, you are doing stuff on the computer and uh, you need uh, to find um, to find some useful information let's take an example for example ipconfig which uh, is a very useful um, which is a very useful command uh, for um, networking but uh, we're not going to talk about it uh, if you after the the command uh, you make for a slash and um, question mark here you just can see everything about uh, um, a small guide of the uh, of the the command that you can uh, you can see and here there is everything you need to know about the command I think this is very useful because um, 
because many times you will need to use something like this. So um, here is it for now. I think this is enough and we'll continue uh, going through uh, the command line in the next videos. Thank you.